Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a typographic illusion using Blender. This is a really quick and easy thing to do, so let's get started. First thing we're going to want to do is to delete your default cube if you have one. To do that, all you have to do is press X, then enter. So you have no default cube, so it's like my one. We're now going to add some text. So we're going to press Shift A to, to go to add. We're going to click on text. And we're then going to press tab and change this to be the letter A. I'm going to use a capital A just because it makes the effect look a bit better with capitals. We're then going to press tab to leave the edit mode. And we're going to click on the A at the taskbar over here. So click on it. You're going to then click on the drop down of fonts. On the row of regular, you're going to click on the file. And you can change it to any font you want. I like the default, so I'm going to leave it as the default. We're then going to click on Geometry, and we're going to increase the extrusion. So just click and drag your mouse along until it's a bit bigger, like this. We're now going to rotate it on the x-axis, so we're going to press R, X, and then rotate it by 90 degrees. We're now going to go to Shift-D to duplicate this. We're then going to press R and Z to rotate it on the Z-axis. We're then going to type in 90, so it rotates by 90 degrees. And we're going to press tab to go to edit mode, and we're going to change it to be a capital B. And then press tab again to leave edit mode. We're now going to scale it in, because as you can see there's not much material between them at the top, and basically none at the bottom. So to do that you press S, and move your mouse in. Maybe you move it up by pressing G, Z and drag it up. And then just scale it until it looks about right. We're now going to go to Object, Set Origin, Set Origin to Center of Mass Volume. We're now going to shift click on the A, press F3, and type in Convert, Convert to, will be there, so click on it, type in, click on Mesh from Curve Meta Surf Text, and now we're going to click on the Wrench or Spanner, Add modifier, and click on the boolean modifier. We're going to then click on difference and change it to intersect, and on object we're going to click on text 0001. So you can see it has sort of happened, but we still have this big B here. So the way we do that is we click on the I, draw I on text 0001, so here, click on the I, and there it is. You can see the shading's not quite, quite quite right. Yeah, the shading's not quite right, so we're going to fix that. To do it, you click on it. You then click here on the triangle, which is Object Data Properties. You could then click on Normals and enable Auto Smooth. If we moved our camera into this, so let me just move my camera over there, and we try to render this image. It wouldn't e render properly. It would render with the B still there. As you can see, we can't see anything. So this is a really easy fix. To fix this, we click on the filter at the top. We click on the camera. And then the one that we've disabled the eye for, we also disabled the camera. So now we render this image. So I go to render, image. We have our A and our B. You can move the camera around if you want. To. You can animate this. You can change the lighting, you can do whatever you want, but now you have a typographic illusion ready for you to use for your animations, your models, your 3D prints, whatever you're using it for. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!